Hello everyone, I am Mr. Sylvester, a teacher here in UAE. Today I'll be teaching you how to create your Bitmoji virtual classroom. So let's start. Okay, first thing to do is you need to open your Google Slides. Okay, so I'll be opening my slides here, Google Slides. That's the first thing to do. Make sure to choose the blank presentation. There you go. And since we don't need this, I, I will just delete this one. Okay, delete because we all need, what we need is just a plain or white background. And we don't need the themes, so I'll just close this also. Okay, once you have your plain background already, next thing to do is click on background here. We're going to change our background, choose image. Okay, there you go. So you have your options here. Just in case you don't have downloaded uh, photo or background yet, it's fine, okay? Because you have here the Google image search. So just click on this one and then search for images. Okay, the technique here or the tip here is um, you type in the keyword wall and floor background. There you go. So you have so many templates or pictures that you can choose from whatever background you want to use. All right, so I have a lot of um, backgrounds here. So let's choose one. Let's say, for example, um, let me choose. Okay, I think let's just choose this. Okay, for example, this. I'll choose this one. You can cl uh, click on the picture and click insert. And then done and there you go you have already your wall and floor background next thing to do is of course since we're um, creating a virtual classroom okay we need to put some things here maybe we can have first um, add an image so we go to insert image and if you have downloaded picture you can choose upload from computer but if not yet you can select the search the web Okay, so uh, for example, I will put, um, okay, I want wall clock. So clock transparent. Okay, why did I put here transparent background? Because um, to make sure that only the, the, the photo or the object will be taken. Okay, not the, the, not the whole object or the, not the whole picture. Okay, so click always click on, I mean, type in the transparent. So click tra clock transparent. Then let's enter. Let's choose one. Mm -hmm. Okay, I want this brown. So click, you can drag it here or you just click and click insert. It's up to you. There's a lot of ways how to put the picture. It's very big, so I'll make it smaller. And see, it's transparent. Okay, so I'll just put it here, maybe at the side. Okay, next is um, I want to put my whiteboard here. So you can also go to insert image and search the web or simply insert shape. And you have your shapes i will choose of course the square one and i'll be putting it here there you go so this will be my um whiteboard i'll make it bigger okay and then of course let's have some ver uh, border um, form go to format and go to borders and lines the border color of course i want it black and then let's have the Border weight. Okay, let's have 12 maybe. There you go. So I have my um, white, back, white background now. Now if you go, want to put text here, it's also fine. Just go to insert and then text box and go here. Let's say you will write here, um, for example, good morning. Good morning, you're year six you can have like that or if you want to post an announcement also can be also if you want to put your objective here your success criteria it's fine okay i'll just make this one as an example so for example i put here i will make it bigger good morning year six 
and I will change the color into red you can also change the font here you can choose what font you like okay good morning here is six welcome good morning here is six and then for example I'll put here my subject computing computing six or computing computing that's it and I'll put it at the center I'll make it centered okay there's one computing okay that's it for example and then you want to add, add other stuff here or objects here it's fine also so let's say for example I want to put here um, a couch okay so I will insert image and search the web and again we need to find objects that are transparent okay so I'll put here couch for example okay and I will enter so you have your options you have your choices so it's up to you what kind of couch you prefer say I want um okay I want this one the yellow one I will insert it Mm -hmm. now so I have my couch since I have plants here so I could put this one here and I will flip it how are we going to flip this one you go to arrange click on the picture go to arrange rotate and flip horizontally so now it's facing there okay so I have it now here and then where uh, you want to put table here center table it's fine also you could do it image and then search the web and let's have here table okay, we have the table here so let's choose which table we want okay I'll choose one mm -hmm. which is better table okay let's say I will choose this brown this is just an example okay you can be more creative you can do better than what I'm doing here okay I'm just um, giving you an example and how to do it okay I have my table here and first and then let's say I have want to have some coffee insert sorry insert image search the web and you have here um, mug with coffee for example transparent so there you go you have there so you have options choose mm, I want to choose <laughs> so many there's a lot so just choose one that could complement your virtual classroom okay let's say I want to choose this one okay insert and then there you go so you're just going to wait it Wait for it and then I'll make it smaller and I will put it here on top of my table and then there you go you have your coffee yes and exciting part is we need to insert bitmoji okay so in inserting bitmoji you need to download it first in your phone okay you need you cannot access or you cannot sign up using your laptop or your computer or desktop computer you need to download it first in your phone before you can put it here in or you can sync it here in your Google slides or in your Google Chrome okay once you have signed up already in your mobile or in your phone then go to Google and then search for bitmoji you have their bitmoji and then click on it this is your bitmoji site and go to here go here click this bitmoji for chrome desktop since we're using google chrome and we're using google slides as well and then i have to remove from chrome because i already installed it okay but if you don't have it yet then you need to add this ex this extension in your google chrome and then you how would you know if it's already there you can see this one this green icon here this is the bitmoji 
okay since i have already installed it last, last time so i don't need to in, reinstall it again okay so let's go back so this is the way okay and then after that okay just click on the extension bitmoji and let's wait for it there you go so you have a lot of choices here have a lot of choices so since we have couch and I want just I just want to see it okay I'll just choose this recent one you can search for seat or sitting okay, it's up to you okay so I'll just choose this okay I will drag it here there you go that's me <laughs> That's me. You can change the outfit also if you want to. Okay. There you go. So this is a simple way of creating your virtual classroom. Okay. So that our kids will be will be engaged and it'll be it will be interactive. Now, if you want to create also some uh, add more stuff like bookshelf, for example, you can do it. Okay. Let's let's just have one. Okay. Bookshelf book shelf i'm sorry for the spelling bookshelf transparent mm -hmm. so you have a lot of this one so you can choose any okay well, which pre which do you prefer and maybe okay i'll just choose for example this insert actually we don't have enough space in our um virtual classroom but i can put it here okay and then um you can put some you can put some books here if you want to okay so of course insert image search the way for example you want to put here um science book okay okay let's say we have our science book okay um for example this one let's just put it here okay you're gonna put this books here in the sh in this shelf okay for example you have it there make sure it will fit okay there you go and then if you want to put some links it it is possible also here okay for how to do that click on the picture you have your link here insert link and paste the link here if you want your students or your kids to click on that picture and if they if they're going to click on the, the picture they will be directed to the website that you want them to read an article maybe a video maybe it's up to you okay there's a lot of stuff to put in there okay so that's it you can put it there and you can add more you can add poster here you can make your window here if you want to you can have more just be creative and you know your students so you know what what are their interests okay for me um, my, the interests of my students are Fortnite, playing Fortnite, doing um, soccer or football a lot so you can use it to catch their attention and you're learn the learning they will be enjoying while learning it will not be a boring classroom anymore th though we're not in our physical classroom right now so okay so i'll be uploading more videos make sure to click and subscribe in my youtube channel thank you very much and have a great day